What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 with part 13 of this Let's Play series. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've been having a lot of fun making it. Let's jump into Forza Horizon 3 today. We've been doing quite a bit of stuff between every episode now, so we've got a, a bunch of new stuff done. I, I, I will be blatantly honest. I actually recorded a part 13 before, started to watch it back, and I was like, it didn't really do anything. I just did some normal races and we didn't really accomplish anything because I sort of lost a lot again. So anyways, I wanted to redo part 13 and just sort of have some fun with it. Another one of the things we've been doing recently is buying Horizon Edition cars. Recently, the auction house has actually been working for me, uh, funnily to say, because it's been down basically every other day. But I've been trying to buy a bunch of Horizon Edition cars. So I've got this Lambo here, and earlier in the week, I had a Ford Focus RS. This Ford Focus RS, I went on between episodes, and I did a little drift build of it. I didn't record it or anything like that. I just made it so it could drift for me. Threw an AR-12 paint on it that I sort of made myself. It wasn't the greatest paint because I don't really paint cars. And then I threw it up in the auction house, and I tweeted, Hey, guys, I made this car, and I and I put it up on the auction house. If anyone wants it, there it is. And I started the price at, like, 200 k And people ended up bidding all the way up to 3 million credits for the thing. So massive thank you to you if you were the person who bought that. I really appreciate it. You are going to be a big help with videos, Mr. C4C Phoenix. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, we've been needing money for, uh, for a little while now for some of these videos and that's going to be huge. So thank you again very, very much for that. So that's something I'm going to be doing quite a bit more. I'm going to be finding Horizon Edition cars on, on the auction house, buying them out myself and then just building them up for you guys, letting them either be like drift cars or drag cars or like a crazy stunt car or like a wheelie car or something like that. And then I'll basically put the car in the auction house and I'll just be like, whoever wants it can have it. And I'm going to be doing some of that. So if you want to stay tuned for that, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. That's probably where I'm going to be letting people know when I'm actually doing things. But since we have so much money now, I can build one of the cars that I've been wanting to for a very, very long time. And that is if we go, actually, why are we buying it from here? That's no stupid thing to do. Never buy a car from the auto show. It's just an absolute waste of money. Um, I'm gonna search, and I want a Koenigsegg. Let's see if there are some auctions on here. Hopefully they're kind of cheap, because I, I think this car online is like, or on the auto show is like two mil. So if I can buy it out for like 1.7, 1.6 mil, that's not too bad. Let's actually just go in here and check just to see what the value of a Koenigsegg Agera is. It is... It's 1.5! Why is everyone in the auto sh or the auction house way more than that? Alright, I guess I will buy a brand new one then. Ah! Red? Red. Hey, oh, hi, Roller! What's that achievement for? Spend 1 million credits on a car. That's big! That's awesome. I mean, I'm loving all these achievements. I'm not usually the type of guy who goes in and just gets a bunch of achievements in games, but just playing through and getting them makes me feel so good. I love it. So now I wanted this Koenigsegg Agera for basically one reason and one reason only. Yeah. It's got a really cool roof box. Look how cool it is. All right, we need ADV ones for this. Just, just cuz. Red ADV one. Yes. I mean, the thing looks terrible. But, I mean, that's okay. We're got, we've got race tire compound, so that's gonna be good. I love the roof box. It looks so sick. Uh, we've got big fat tires. We're in an Agera, so we don't need to worry about top speed that much. So we don't need to change our power. Do we have the cool wing? Oh, if we have the cool wing, we have to take off that wing? Oh, why? Yo, it's a Thule box, too. That's so sick. Uh, other than that, weight reduction. Oh, we've got that already. I, I guess we're good. I guess we're done. In my Koenigsegg. Cool. If you guys want to tip... Okay, I really want that car. I'm gonna need that car for a future episode. I can tell you that right now. But if you can find... It's like this car usually goes for like a million. If you can find the majority of, of the cars for like half a million or less, that's usually a pretty good deal. Like 400,000. I'll bid on that. All right, bid accepted on the Focus RS. We will uh, keep that in mind while going forward. And let's see what else is here. Wow, I was already outbid on it. All right, well, I'm not gonna go too crazy for that. There's another one. That's super cheap. That's really, really cheap. 600,000 for that? Oh, shit! I just got an absolute steal 
on a Viper SRT-10 Horizon Edition. But we built the Koenigsegg this episode. Okay, we're gonna build- we're gonna- we're gonna save the Viper for next episode. And then maybe at the end of next episode we might sell it? Maybe we'll do that. That could be pretty cool, I think. Collect the car. What an absolute steal. How to get cars cheap on the auction- on the auction house? Basically, here's what you gotta do. You just gotta know the value of these cars. If you can see this type of car for less than a million, grab it. And just like keep pulling your money out of these auctions. It's like, yeah, lost. Thank you. Could I pull my money out of it now? So for this episode, we're down in Byron Bay. And we've got a bunch of undiscovered routes. Like we've got undiscovered uh, PR stunt, undiscovered route. And we've got all these ones near the waterfall, which I've been saying forever that we need to do. So I think we should go and do that. But we've got a speed camera right here, which I think we should try to hit along the way. Then hit this one as well. Then head up here, do these two events, and then go to this waterfall and do this one maybe? I think that'll be a pretty good plan. Especially, it shouldn't take too long because of Sir Koenigsegg here. Oh, 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 another thing, another thing we did. We got a bunch of new skills. So I basically just want to go in here and just be like, Hey, spend all my money on stuff or spend all my points on stuff. Near miss skills are increased by 10%. Cool, I'll grab that. 20% more towards your skill for in the air stuff. I will grab that as well. It's just like, now we've not really got anything important in here that we really desperately need. So we're just going in and sort of filling everything out, but we still have all these to do as well. This is like, this is like gonna be big stuff. Anyways, let's get out of the Byron Bay Festival here and head down to do this. I, I think it's a speed camera, right? I think it was. The annoying thing about it is that it was off-road. I think it was actually, was it on the beach? Is it down here? Yeah, it feels funny to be on the beach though. We haven't been down on the beach for a while. Like, I think the last time I was on the beach was in the demo. Come on. This is not particularly easy. I'm trying to drive a cone exact- wait. Oh, I meant- Oh, it's a speed zone! Oh. My bad. Yeah, just saying, Playground Games, we need a- we need a soccer ball in here and some nets, please. You know how cool that would be? Alright, cone exact. Uh, this thing just drifts. Everywhere. It just- it just never goes in a straight line. Why did we choose to bring this off-road? Terrible idea. Oh, and 104 miles an hour for the Koenigsegg. I don't think that's very good. I think it's going to be two stars. I think three was like 110. Yeah, there's two stars. 106,000 fans for that. That's huge. Look at that. 300 or 3.4 million fans now we have. All right. So we said we would go after that to this one right here, which also seems to be... An off-road sort of like thing. This roof box is awesome. It's just one of the things that is totally unnecessary and doesn't help you at all. But it's just so cool. It's like I want to toss a roof box on every single car. My RS6, my Audi RS6 is actually isn't in this game, right? What? That would have been an awesome addition for a roof box. Could have gone all like John Olsen style and, and just been like, Oh, is this a danger sign? Oh, my bad. I thought this was a... A thing. All right, so the Byron Bay danger sign is right here. Thank you, Koenigsegg. Oh, wow, we've got all three Koenigseggs right next to each other. So danger sign. I don't exactly know what I need to get on that, but, I mean, we've got quite a big run-up. It's probably quite a lot. Danger sign! Oh, there's a fast travel board right underneath me. Holy shit, this thing can fly. I'm gonna fail that. Yeah. I want to try to go off, like, as straight as possible. There we go. That looks better. I mean, I might have dropped some speed. But hopefully I won't roll. Yeah, 600 feet. How'd I do? That's got to be like three stars, right? Right? Game. One, two, three, three stars. Boom, that's going to be some big fans. 123,000 fans from that. We're nearly about to expand our festival already. And we've been playing for like two seconds. All right, so let's head up here. Undiscovered PR stunt. I think that's a bucket list and then that's a race. I mean, I would beeline it in any other car, but Koenigsegg, uh, we probably want to stick to the road. Especially with this weather that we have right now. It's making things rather difficult. Oh, I leveled up! Spin for a prize! Horizon Edition car? Horizon Edition car? 30k? Not bad! I'll take that as well. It's gonna double to 60. I just need more money in this game, man. It's so hard to get money. Oh, I also totally forgot to mention two things. One, we're giving away a copy of Forza Horizon 3 right now. If you would like to win, 
there's going to be a link in the description that you can check out. Uh, we're going to be giving away a copy of Forza Horizon 3 to you subscribers. Uh, all you guys who leave a like on all these episodes, all you awesome people. Uh, we got our hands on a couple extra copies of Forza Horizon 3, so if that's something you want to you wanna win, if you don't have a game just yet, link in the description, leave a like, subscribe. I, I appreciate it all. Also, the other thing is that if you are a fan of the AR-12 clubs in Forza Horizon 3, I have some news for you. We now have some rules for the club and how we're going to be handling things. What is this? Oh, oh shit, it's over there. Um, I was gunning it in like, eh, I'm just going to gun it and... What is this? Bucket list. It's a hard one. Ooh, what are we driving? We are driving a 2015 Subaru WRX. We got to hit 80 miles an hour in it. That shouldn't be too hard. I mean, the thing's kind of fast. But yeah, so I know there's been a lot of questions about the AR-12 clubs and stuff like that. Well, right now we've got rules up for them. How we're going to be handling kicking people. What you guys need to do to get in the clubs and things like that. And basically some prizes you guys can win as well. From being in the AR-12 club. So if you want to read more about that, there's going to be a link in the description down below for that as well. Look at this, because if we come in at this angle, instead of making the turn at the last second, we get in here now with way more speed. Okay, I missed the zone. Here we go. There we go. Into the zone. Flying in. 90 miles an hour. Breaking through there. I know we drop a lot of speed towards the end of this lap, going through the water and stuff like that. But I think we'll be okay. 81 miles an hour. Nailed it. Perfect. 2,000 credits for that. I mean, that's not really going to help anything. And 2,000 XP. We're super far away from leveling up, but eh, what will you do? Fans, we actually picked up 120,000 fans. We can expand our festival already. So you know what I think we'll do? I think what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel back to Byron Bay. Do the festival. Expand it. And then head back to the waterfall and do some of our races that we were talking about. Alright, so we've made it back to Byron Bay. Let's expand the festival and go all the way up to level 5. That is Surfer's Paradise and Byron Bay. Both maxed out and we no longer have to look at these stupid cat ears. Honestly, level 4 is the worst. Like, the, the, the festival just looks so ugly. That is so much better. Maxed out. Level 5. We're gonna get pulling a bunch of new events. We're going to be pulling in huge amounts of fans now. I'm excited. Let's see. We're going to get some discounts on some cars. All of which I can't really afford. So let's head out of here. See what we got. There we go. A bunch of new events. That's a lot of stuff, man. More. Holy shit. The entire bottom of the corner. The, 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 this whole place just says new, 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 new. Undiscovered, undiscovered, undiscovered. I have a feeling we're going to be here for quite a while. Anyways, we're, we're going to head out here to go do these events. So you know what? Let's actually just fast travel right up here because otherwise that would take a while to get all the way up. So we have right in front of us a speed trap. Okay, my bad. I thought this was a bucket list for some reason. It is not. So let's turn around. It's a good thing we brought this thing. And look at it now. We got sunny days. We should be good to go in the Koenigsegg. I'm excited to see what sort of speed we can hit actually. Now that we might actually be able to grip to the road. Alrighty, here we go, Koenigsegg. Here we go, buddy. This thing is so fast. 170 miles an hour from that. Is that like... I, I, I mean, we could go even faster. That's three stars already, though. Boom, buddy. 123,000 more fans. We're up nearly to 4 million fans. That's crazy. So where are we going? We are going totally the wrong direction. I needed to go right there. My bad. It's like, we think we're far through this game, but we still have the Outback Festival at level one. Yeah. We've got quite a bit of work to do in this game still. We are nowhere near finished. Yo, look at the waterfall, man. All right, so we got a Byron Bay cross-country event right there. We have something right up here that is going to be a danger sign i feel like i should hit that right now and then over here we've got a bucket list so let's start off with the danger sign then do the bucket list and then do the cross country event good good order all right here we go let's hit this danger sign with some speed yeah let's just put a tree in front of the danger sign uh let's slow it down danger sign yay oh my god oh we're supposed to come in the other way Whoops! That makes so much more sense to come from this way. 
Now there's no stupid tree in the way. Come on. Okay. The car's decided to turn left. Uh, yeah, we don't really get very much grip in a Koenigsegg Agera off-road. But that should be like 100... 200 feet! Wow. Shit. New personal best. Uh, we're currently drowning a Koenigsegg. Two stars for that. That just shows how fast this thing is. That's 106,000 vans. That's crazy. Beauty spots, the first one I got was in like episode one and that was like the last one we got as well. I was like, you don't get any XP from it. And then I immediately say that an XP pops up on my screen. So uh, yeah, we'll just ignore that. Anyways, that looks awesome. Let's do the bucket list now. I have no idea what we're doing. I couldn't see a car, so I'm not sure. Look at that, we're gonna get, oh, I didn't see how much XP we got, but we did get some. I think it's probably like two, 3,000, something like that. Anyways, follow the river in the Ford Raptor. 2017. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna be going down maybe all the way to the shipwrecks from all the way up here. That could be pretty cool. Race to the destination. We have, how long do we have to get there? Two minutes and five seconds. So you see what I'm gonna do? Like, this is a, I don't know who put this bucket list together, but whoever put it together didn't put a very good one together because you basically made a massive U and you finished off right next to where we were. So we've just corner cutted the entire thing. So that went well. So now we can basically just head through the river and we will be there in what looks like less than a minute. That's actually like 30 seconds. That was actually like 30 seconds. Oh, it respawned me? I can't drive through there in a rafter apparently. All right, we'll just, we'll just go around then. And we've made it in less than a minute. It's always a good bucket list when you can do that. Why did we even buy? Ah, that's why we bothered. Over 100,000 fans for that. We are up to 4 million fans. That's huge. All right, and then to finish this episode off, we get stuck behind a Ford Raptor while we try to gun it. There we go. The Lancia would be pretty good at this now that I think about it. Yo, look at all the rally cars, man. Oh my god, there's so much cool stuff. We've got our Lancia. Let's do it in the final race of this episode. Come on. We've been doing well. We haven't failed anything yet, but we've already dropped back to 10th position. Good. I mean, my car is completely stocked. This is actually the first time I'm driving this thing. So, I mean, hopefully we can get some big points and whatnot. I'm trying to push everyone out of the way. Here we go. We're like a proper rally car, man. Oh my God, we're going through trees. Literally going through the trees. We can't actually catch up to these people. I have no idea what difficulty I'm playing on, but it's feeling super hard. Nice little bit of corner cutting there. That's gonna close the gap between me and everyone up here. I'm gonna be in eighth place now, nice. This Lancia requires so much work with the gears, man. But holy shit, these guys look really hard. They're like, they're so fast. It keeps telling me to break for like everything as well. I'm like, nah, no thank you. I see now why it suggested like off-road cars or like ra extreme off-road cars. Because driving through the water in this it is quite difficult. I'm basically trying to avoid the water at all costs. Come on, close this gap. I'm in eighth place. How is that possible? Shift down. I can't do anything. I don't know if these guys have faster cars than me or what, but it's like I can't do anything in this race. Like in this race, we've barely come off the gas and we're still not catching up to people. Even with all my crazy amount of corner cutting, it's like, there we go, seventh place. And just with a bit of power, uh, he gonna, he's gonna take that right back. What class are these people's cars in? Why did you drive that way? Seriously, why did you do that? Eighth place? You're having a laugh there, buddy. I wanna see what class everyone else was in. B class? Bullshit. There is no chance that those guys were in the same class car as me. They pulled so far. The games must be on like max difficulty. There's no way. 100,000 more fans? Like 900, 850,000 more fans before expanding another festival? That's gonna be awesome. But you know what's next episode? Next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how you can pull in some huge money. So if you guys are excited for that, subscribe, give this episode a like, keep smashing that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.